So Kyle, firstly, how do you look back on the three-all draw on Saturday? Yeah, it was a strange one, really, really. It didn't have a lot to do in the game, but they ended up uh, conceding three goals. But um, considering we went down to ten men so, so early in the game, I think uh, the lads hang on, the, hang on in there uh, really well. And um, well-deserved point in the end, I think, because um, you know, to cause teams trouble when you're down to ten men, take some doing, and um, you know, we never gave up and we got our, our credit from, it, from, from, from the end. What does it do for morale going forward when you, you get that point, particularly when Cole scored that third goal? It's a real boost, I guess. Yeah, of course, yeah. And obviously when you've got Cole on the pitch at the minute, I think he's in that form where he can score at any minute, any given minute. So that's nice to have as a, as a, as a, as a team. Um, so if we can keep feeding him the service and hopefully he can keep putting the chances away. Another game Tuesday night. You've played with 10 men on Saturday. You beat Crew the previous Tuesday. It's a lot of work at the minute, isn't there? Yeah, um, it's relentless, but obviously we knew that anyway. It's always Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, um, this, this stage of the season. But I think we've uh, acquitted ourselves really well so far and no team's come to our place and, and rolled us over. And that's certainly not going to be the case on Tuesday night. We, uh, we know they're a good team, but we also know what, we've, what, we, um, what we can do and that's what we're going to concentrate on. What about yourself now you've been back in the fold last couple of games? How is it? Yeah, I've loved it. Um, you know, I've been pushing in training to get back in, um, and I think the gaffer put me back in for a bit of a bit more experience. Um, you know, was it a bit harsh and Yoko maybe so, but obviously was it a bit harsh on myself from the start of the season? Maybe so as well. You know, I mean, this you know this is what you've got a strong squad for, and um, you know, me and Yoko is going to go to toe to toe all season, and it's going to be done in the right heart, and hopefully that can only benefit Markham. And there's only one slot for a keeper, isn't there? That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. So um, you know, whoever whoever plays the best keeps the keeps the shirt sort of thing. And we've got you know we've got great we've got a great bond together. Most keepers do, and um, that's no different. You are you finding that you're having to be communicative with the defence because lots of new faces, lots of settling in. Is that a key part of your role at the minute? Shouting basically. Yeah, that's been a, you know that's been a key part of my my game since I've been. Since you know, since forever, really. Obviously, that's something I'm I'm really good at communicating and organising, pulling people into positions. Uh, like I felt like he needed a bit more of that, and obviously, I, I think that's why I find myself back in the team. Um, yeah, and it's always good to um, you know to get back in the team and get a win, and obviously, not lose yet. So hopefully, that can continue. So, what sort of challenge do you think Lincoln will be? Because it's a very similar record they've got to Morecambe, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're a very good football side. You know, they try and play the you know the right way. Um, and I'm sure, obviously, we've you know we've prepped today for them and know exactly what's coming our way. So we'll you know we'll go into the game full of confidence and hopefully we can put another three points on the board. Yeah, another three points would make it seven out of the last nine. That's quite a return, isn't it? If that were the case. Yeah, as long you know, in this league, you just need to keep you know keep the scoreboard ticking over, um, and that's what we're doing at the minute. And um, you know, there's no easy game. Um, it won't be no easy game Tuesday night. I can assure you that. But um, like I said, if we keep ticking over, picking up point on three points then it'll come, you know, it'll come to show come crunch time this season. Got to have a word about the support. I mean, obviously last season when you came, there were no fans in. Suddenly you're playing in front of 4,000 week in, week out. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, well, that Saturday was my first time playing in front of a packed Mazuma. So, um, yeah, that was nice. Obviously, um, uh, I missed it, obviously, start of the season because I didn't, you know, I, I weren't in the team. But um, to run out there in, full, you know, in front of a full uh, stand, a full stadium was... Um, was really nice, and hopefully they can keep can continue coming out in this in the, in the numbers, and uh, we can put on a performance for them. Does it really make a difference to someone like yourself when you've got a packed home end behind you? Say, yeah, I, I love a packed end, no matter what it is. To be to be honest, whether I'm getting abuse or whether I'm getting you know cheers. Did you get some abuse from Stanley? Yeah, I've, I've, I've had that all my career. That's uh, that's not, that's that's not, that's not new to me. And to be honest, I love it. You know, I love both both sides of it because it just uh, it spurs you on to want to play better. And um, yeah, I, I, I love it.